Hey guys, Nathan here, Mom's Girl Care today, bringing you some domination on the map Nuketown. Today we'll be using the Razorback with, I think it's just a naked Razorback, I don't have any uh, attachments on it, and we'll be using some, uh, we'll be using the UAV, Guardian, and Wraith, and I'm telling you guys, the Wraith is probably one of the best kill streaks in the game. So anyways, um, today we're going to be talking about two things, uh, one is just a little rant I want to get out of the way, um... I don't usually rant on this uh, channel, but, uh, you know, I don't like talking about Call of Duty things 24-7. I like to kind of mix it up so, you know, there's variety in this channel. Uh, and the second thing we'll be talking about is my review over this game. Since this game is nearly three weeks old, I have lots of lots and lots of good things to say about this game. And maybe just one bad thing, which could be fixed in the future. But, uh, before I like to say anything, uh, I'm going to apologize to all my uh, viewers. Uh, I haven't been uploading recently um, because I've been stressed and a bit upset lately, so I'm not going to talk about it in this video, but I will talk about it in another video because I really just, you know, I don't feel like ranting right now, and, you know, it's Thanksgiving, so you guys should have a good video to watch over Thanksgiving whenever you guys get bored or decide to surf my channel. So anyways, the rants I would like to talk about is involving a cell phone company in the United States known as AT&T or American Telephone and Telegraph. Anyways, for you guys that have AT&T, this is the probably the best cell phone carrier you can have in America. They have the best uh, coverage, the best data speeds. Personally, I've never ever hit a place where I've not had, you know, service unless I was in school, which is a pretty cool thing. I went from my house to Minnesota, which is roughly 800 miles of highway, and didn't ever hit a dead zone. But one thing AT&T is not good at, on the other hand, is their customer support and their policies. They're like phone Nazis. You have to do everything through them. You have to do, you know, you have to do everything under their supervision. There's no third-party upgrade programs that you can go through without having to go through AT&T and that makes me mad. And I'm not the person getting mad. I know I get mad over several things, but I think this is something, is something worth getting, getting mad about because, because there's a lot, lot of people out there that um, are affected by this if, and they don't know it. So anyways, if you have an iPhone and you're wanting to upgrade to another iPhone, you can upgrade use, using AT&T Next, which honestly is, you know, it's a good deal, but I don't like seeing my phone bill get, you know, bigger. So I was like, hey, Apple has their own upgrade program. It's called the iPhone Upgrade Program. And basically, you can upgrade your phone every year or two, and you just pay it off monthly. Plus, you get Apple Care, which for all you guys that don't have an iPhone or, you know, use different phones, Apple Care is an insurance uh, plan for your phone that allows you to replace it or you know, get it fixed for relatively cheap instead of having to buy a new phone. So, we went to the Apple Store a couple days ago, and uh, we went to upgrade using the iPhone upgrade program, and they were having issues. And we call up AT&T, and apparently, if you're uni if you're under a unified account, like a an account that has unified billing, which means one or two AT&T services are under the same bill, which in our case is Direct TV, and AT&T wireless uh, cell phones, you cannot use the upgrade program, which honestly is just so stupid and asinine. Like, there's other people out here that are affected by this issue. If you're an AT&T person that has unified billing and you want to upgrade your iPhone through Apple, good luck. It's not going to happen. You're going to have to wait two to three months for your, you know, for them to deunify your uh, billing cycle. And, you know, you're out of luck and this is just sad I know it's stupid to get mad about but there's some people out there that have phones that do not work and they want to upgrade their phone well now they have to wait even longer because AT&T's crappy policies and how you have to do everything through AT&T and you know when we signed into uh, unified billing we signed in for the ten dollar discount not this oh you have to do this through AT&T. Oh, by the way, you can't use third-party upgrade programs. That was never mentioned in the contract. Why did they, you know, I just don't know why. AT&T, good phone company. Their customer support is freaking awful. 
and I don't know why. It's just it's just awful. You call them up, they put you in a wait line, they tell you you're gonna they're gonna call you back later, and they don't call you back later. So if this goes out to AT and T and they see this, I don't know. I'm just a teenager. I don't know what I'm talking about, but hey, there's a lot of other people that would like to upgrade their iPhones too, and they sadly can't because of this stupid program. <laughs> so, anyways, let's get the negativity outside of the way. My review on Black Ops 3. All I have to say is, wow, this game is pretty damn good. Treyarch did their best, and I love it. The, there's not one weapon that outclasses every weapon in the game. Like, for example, in Advanced Warfare, we had the BAL-27 and the ASM-1. In this game, there's weapon variety. Even though I use just two weapons, because I'm a wimp and I personally can't move away and get out of my comf comfort zone, you know, I only use the ICR and the, uh, the what's the other one? The KN-44, but all the other guns are pretty dang good. And I'm so happy they made a beta for this game because it, it fixed a lot of the issues, like the weapons, weapon balancing issues. And it was pretty ballsy of them to do this because, let's be real guys, the Call of Duty community is full of little kids, and when little kids see the word beta, they automatically assume the game is just it's the full game. And the full game, I mean, the, the beta had the bu had bugs, and, you know, it didn't, you know, they risked scaring a lot of people away, took the risk, and look, we have a game like this, it's pretty good. Now, the only complaint I have about it is the connectivity issues. Now, server issues on launch are normal for games that do not have betas. Games that have betas, the beta's sole purpose is to test things, balance things, and prevent issues from happening on the launch day. One thing that Treyarch did fail to do is the latter, which is the server issues. To this day, the 25th or 26th of November, whatever you, day you're watching this video on, this game still has server issues that need to be addressed and fixed. And the other complaint I have, only complaint, other only complaint I have, is this game is really hard to play on wireless connection. This is the first Call of Duty my friends and I have ever had issues on a wireless connection. So I had to go as far as setting up power line adapters across, around my house to wire my, com or my game console into my router, which in the first place shouldn't, um, I shouldn't have had to do that. But to play like, you know, a game without lag or jitter. As you can see in this game, there was a few moments of jitter, and that was because I was rubber banding because of wireless. I don't know if this game uses more bandwidth than other Call of Duties, but you know, I hope they get that fixed because not many people can, you know, run a wire through their house, uh, you know, to the router, to their game console, and you know, this is affecting a lot of it people. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, and you know, if you didn't, just tell me how I can improve on it. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys have a good Thanksgiving break, or Thanksgiving weekend, and be careful on Black Friday. See you guys later. Bye.